Hi everyone, Rory Neary from Data Spinners and those Dynamics guys. Today I'm going to choose a slightly unusual topic. It's this idea of communicating drop downs. Essentially, what it is is one drop down that's able to chat to another one uh, and vice versa, which is actually the really tricky bit. So if we move on to um, onto this demo here, what we've got is a gallery. This is this idea of slips, trips and falls. And this, uh, what this idea is here is that, that this is the level in the museum where you had your slip, trip or fall. Um, <clears throat> so what we can do is if we go into the main, the, the idea is we're going to filter this list based on what's in a drop down. So what I'm going to do is in these in this drop down here, uh, I did have slips and trips, but it wasn't really working that well. So what I'm going to do is the items are going to be accident uh, dot report uh, accident reporting dot museum level, um, and I am going to go distinct distinct on that. Now hopefully that will actually work. In fact. Um, accident reporting just need to get my syntax right on this it should do the trick yeah you can actually see that now i've got all of the different options one two three four five so uh, there's one of my drop downs um and there is my uh other drop down oops made a mistake there undo that sorry about that uh and then i'm going to go into my items on the other drop down so in iPop with that. That's great. So the idea is that you can hit a drop down and it's going to chat to the other one. Now, in fact, I haven't got the order on this right, but I don't think it really matters too much. So um, what I'm going to do here is um, we could do the default on here is the default um, equals, um, uh, let's call this drop down uh, rename, drop down dd. Two. Let's call it DD2 and DD1. Uh, rename DD1. DD1. Okay, that's good. Um, so what we could do on here is could make the D. Uh, the default is DD1. Dot selected. Dot value. But all that would happen there is that it would be connected, but we couldn't get them to chat to each other. So they would be connected, but when this changes the first one doesn't change so that's not going to work so what we're going to do is um this is basically the way to do it i'll just show you how to do it so uh what i'm going to do is i am going to um set the on change property on this so on change set um i always do global variables i'm not sure if we're supposed to but anyway set uh gv uh, default, default, drop, drop down, um, to be, uh, on change is going to be dd one dot selected. Oops, dot selected, dot value. Okay. And that's going to do absolutely nothing at all to begin with. Okay. So on change, it's going to set that to be dd. Uh, drop down one selected value and so you're not going to notice any change in anything at all in fact i'm still you are going to notice a change but that's because the default on this is dd1 selected value which we are going to change to gv and default drop down which is going to work okay so on change that's going to keep changing good um and then we are going to do the same thing over the other side so on change but we're going to change it to be uh, on change to be the current drop down so dd2 dot selected dot value uh, and so that's interesting but it's still not going to get the job done because it hasn't started chatting to it and so what we're going to do on this is we are going to look at the default on that and we're going to set it to be the same default and then we are going to go in there lovely and we're going to do GV default drop down. And what that means is that this is going to change and that is going to fire across the other side. Now, this is 
Well, do you know what? I kind of wasn't quite expecting to work quite so successfully, which is, but, you know, I'll take that. It's fine. It's fine. It works. Um, what I thought I was going to have to do is reset the drop down, etc, etc. Now, what I am going to have to do is uh, the idea is that you might sort of set your drop down on this page. But then when you go through to the other page, it uh, de uh, filters the data down. So what I'm going to do is I am going to if I copy this uh, and I delete it and then go onto this screen and I um, and I paste it in, then we'll still have our nicely working drop down. And what we're going to do is going to go onto this here and we're going to do accident reporting um, and we're going to do filter accident reporting where museum level um, equals uh, DD2 dot selected dot value and that should do the trick so let's hope we've got some accidents in there which we have uh, and then what we can do is we can change that to be a different level um, and I'm not going to bother doing uh, navigate buttons but if we go back to this screen here and then we change it to another level like one say um, and we move on to screen three we should see that it moves so there you are that is what I call communicating drop downs. I'm sure there's a far more technical way of describing that, but I think it's kind of it's all right. It means that you can literally uh, land on this screen and it could come from any, you know, come 10 screens wouldn't really matter. It would always be uh, the drop down would be filtered in the right way. So hopefully that's interesting and uh, someone gets to use it at some point. Um, do you like this thing? It uh, gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling and uh, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. And uh, and make sure you let other people know about the channel, etc. So I'll uh, see you again sometime soon. Cheers.